awkward for a six foot, handsome, muscular man. <laughs> Thanks for coming on short notice. Yeah, you know me, man. Six foot. Mm. Uh, aren't you 5'11? Correct me again. I'll beat you to the shell. So they started off with one student. She started having a violent coughing fit. And they eventually died. We assumed it was from a smoking habit, but eventually someone else died. And they died too. We realized this was some sort of illness. We moved the bodies to the stairwell to prevent infection. But the person who carried them would have infected, and they would go and infect everyone else. That's why we didn't let him in. What? We didn't let him in. He's been exiled, so to speak. Okay, so you decided to have someone with a possibly deadly disease ruin the school. It's a better idea. You would infect the entire building. What are you doing? Gonna go check patient zero. That is suicide. All the time I have to do my job. Guy died. He's disease! No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I give a fuck up, no! No, it's not real illness. It's one of your heads. Bro, somebody fucking died, man! It is a real illness, but it's not what you would think. It's called a psychogenic illness. If your brain thinks you're sick, they'll make you sick. If it's in the head, how do we treat it then? Just go home, sleep it off, you'll be fine. Well, they died, so will we die too? Oh well, no, now you know it's not real. You'll be fine. Go home then. <sighs> All in the day's work. <laughs> 